this is not a genetic uh, proclivity. This is not related to any biological difference between people who are classified in our country as either black or Latino. Uh, this is social in origin. And what I'm referring to is the longstanding uh, function, functions of race in the labor market and the housing market, uh, in educational um, access and attainment. And all of these, what some people refer to the, as the social determinants of health, uh, Black and Latino populations, Native American populations are disadvantaged. So when you have a virus that is acquired through the air that people get when they have to continue working public facing jobs as essential workers, it's estimated about 40% of our workforce is still going to work. And many of these are low wage workers and disproportionately people of color. So you have a job which you take public transport to maybe for quite a long time. Uh, and you may interact with the public as a driver, as somebody stocking the supermarket shelves, as a cashier. Um, uh, and then you go home to a crowded apartment that may be multi-generational. Uh, and all of those are a setup uh, for uh, inability to follow the recommendations that you keep six feet away from people. <laughs> 